Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I came across something I had no clue about, and I actually find it a bit concerning, but uh, I'm going to leave it up for other people to really think about for themselves and decide how they feel about this. I know how I feel about it, but this is just my opinion, and my opinion is not always right. Maybe I don't see things always correctly, but I am very concerned with this. And I came across it uh, through Russell Taylor looking at his wall with tailored physiques. And he's on my recommended coaches list. So he himself is actually a physique coach who actually did express concern over this. He was actually concerned and shocked at the age of children being involved with this. And this, even though this is happening in Serbia, and uh, this seems to be mostly European competitors here, this is actually being endorsed by the IFBB. And you guys know that the IFBB is obviously not the most healthy organization in the world. But the fact that we're putting children in this is very concerning. And number one, because again, you've got little girls doing a lot of the mandatory poses. My biggest concern up front is the fact that bikini competition has been sexualized heavily. Some of the mandatory poses in bikini comp are very, very sexualized. This whole industry, this whole competitive endeavor has been sexualized. And the bikini comp is the the biggest example. But uh, even all of it in general has been heavily sexualized and that's what this industry is based on the whole physique competition industry and the fact that we're putting underage children on there and prepubescent children is even more concerning because my concern is the risk of sexualizing these children is something i'm extremely uncomfortable with personally Uh, i don't like it and i'll just be flat out honest with that i think that this is a potentially child endangering situation or at the very least again you're sexualizing children and it's something i really really dislike the other aspect of it is the health implications and i know people are going to say well you know in lots of places they're given they're giving mcdonald's and junk food and everything else to children that's unhealthy what could be wrong with this when that other stuff is going on well that's a case of saying you know well over here they're giving cocaine to children and instead we're going to give heroin to children over here it's equally bad it's equally problematic it's just through a different method and the fact is you these children are all pretty lean and that's uh, also something that's scary too you have to remember that children should not be dieting down to be lean or have calories restricted in any way unless they are obese and it is advised by a medical doctor you are risking when you have children diet down in any way and that's the other concern to win these competitions some of the coaches might diet down children Some of the parents might diet down children, and as much as they might claim they're not doing it, this stuff happens. And and if they start judging based upon muscularity and leanness, it's going to be mandatory to win, even if they claim they discourage it. Just like we could say we discourage anabolics and IFBB bodybuilding, but it's mandatory to win, and it's mandatory to use abuse level amounts. Even though they might try to claim that they discourage it or don't approve of it, that's irrelevant when your standards require abuse to even place it or particularly to win. So if they start judging these children based upon leanness, people are going to have to diet children down to win. When you diet children down who aren't obese, you risk their development. You risk the development of their various sexual organs, their hormone production. You risk uh, stunting their growth. You risk organ development, brain development, cognitive ability. And even if these children are like, no, I'm the one who wants to do it, usually not. The level of discipline involved here when you start restricting food and things for for children to win, no, they're not going to want to do it anymore. That's against the nature of children and their bodies and brains will even rebel against that because their body knows that they need food to grow and develop it. So no matter what the child might claim, the parent or the coach is going to be playing a forceful hand in that. It's going to be required in order for them to win. And it's doing so at the expense of their future health and development if that happens. And the children are too young to make that type of decision for themselves. So this whole idea makes me really uneasy. I am really disliking seeing the IFBB promoting this. And again, this is one of those things where people need to uh, boycott this organization if they're going to be involved in things like this. Because number one, the risk of sexualizing children is there. Number two, it's almost certainly going to ensure the health of the children is harmed uh, in order for them to win if they start putting things like leanness and muscularity into the mix as any of the judging criteria at all. That is going to be a problem. And then in a worst case scenario, you're going to see parents who might even give their children drugs in order to help their physiques uh, move forward so they can win, Uh, particularly when you're dealing with very serious competition like this. 
So yes, I am very much concerned and uh, I really do not like this, but uh, I'm sure all of you have your own opinions on it. Maybe I'm off base here, maybe I'm wrong. If you think so, let me know below and explain why. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.